here's my first reaction. I've not seen the Mori at all. I've been waiting for this. Hopefully it's a good view. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> there you go, dude. Holy... Oh, my God. Oh, she even has the hole in her head on the ground, dude. Oh, my God. She said... <laughs> oh, no. Not again. Hello, my baby. Hello, my honey. Hello, my raccoon gal. What's up, fuckers? Oh, my God. Yeah, you saw that right. The Xenomorph is finally in this bitch. Going on guys, Jay here, and we're gonna break down the Xenomorph real quick, his new perks, a little bit about his power, and then we're gonna hop into the games for my first reactions. Me recording this right now, I've already seen it, because this is post games, and I'll tell you what, his map is awesome, his Mori is pretty freaking cool, and his perks might actually get value on other killers, not just himself, which is nice. I waited all day to be able to see everything with my eyes for the first time, including his perks, how his power works, the map, his Mori, everything in between. I did not spoil myself all day. 10 hours after release of the PTB, I mind you. So it was tough. We have ultimate weapon. Open a locker. The perk activates for 30 seconds. Survivors entering the terror radius scream reveal their position and gain blindness for 30 seconds. Alien instinct. Hook a survivor. It activates. You see the furthest injured survivor for five seconds and that survivor is oblivious for 16 seconds. And then one that I am so excited for is rapid brutality. No longer gain bloodlust, which, which is huge, by the way. Hitting a survivor with a basic attack gives you 5% haste for 10 seconds. I am so excited to use this on other kills. In the first game, you'll notice I don't use the tunnel mechanic at all, and that's because I didn't understand the control station. So in the second game, you'll see that I use them and actually how awesome and cool it looks and how pretty sweet it can be. You have runner mode. So essentially, after a certain amount of time, you then start walking on four legs. You become stealthier, reducing your terror radius, and you can use your tail attack a tail whip whatever you want to call it and he could hit survivors from a distance control stations like i was just talking about you essentially go under the map you go through tunnels and what have you and then you come back up and you're ready to attack that also inflicts killer instinct on a close survivor and for the survivors to counter you you have remote flame turrets so essentially if they have it down and you're in runner mode it'll take you out of runner mode after a certain time of you being flame and then say you're carrying a survivor you're just walking and the remote flame turret hits you and your progression bar is getting closer and closer to running mode it'll slowly bring that down and then once you you can destroy it and things like that i haven't played survivor yet so i don't know exactly the mechanic yet that's pretty much it enjoy these two games my first reaction to everything i this is awesome this is one of the i'm sorry but this is like one of the coolest things look at him look at look at him you can't tell me he's not awesome but it's still day one. I haven't got to play him a lot. So let's go ahead and hop in these builds. Sorry for rambling. Let's get it. Aw, dude. I was really hoping we'd get his map. I had to, I had to pick from Mori or his map, and I picked Mori. All right. We're, we're running blind, okay? I just... I, I touched... I don't really know what this does, to be honest. I thought I was going to say... I thought I saw somebody. All right. So that's his new perk. Anytime we hit someone, we get a 5% haste with a basic attack or whatever it is. <laughs> Yeah, uh, they could have made for this made for the people. I don't know what's happening Okay, so that's rapid brutality. Whoa Okay, well that's rapid brutality. So anytime you hit anybody 5% haste for 10 seconds, but you don't have bloodlust anymore Which is honestly interesting I think that's a cool way to get rid of uh, get rid of bloodlust I don't know exactly what I'm doing when I hit my control Oh, oh, all right, okay, so I'm in my runner mode. I didn't activate it, so it activates itself. Is it a lunge attack, I assume? This is awesome! <laughs> okay, okay, so we'll, we'll see if we get any value. Oh, oh, there we go, okay, so... This is ultimate weapon that when you open a locker activates for 30 seconds survivor screams and is blind for 30 seconds. Whoa, 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 whoa Oh, that's a turret. Okay. That was a turret. I got it mixed uh... 
be honest, I don't know what's happening. I don't know what these stations are. I don't know exactly what those are doing. And then we have Alien Instinct, which is when you hook a survivor, you see the R of the farthest injured uh, survivor. So I did get that mixed up a little bit. Anything does, to be honest. Oh, okay, so that takes me out of my power. Good to know. And then we, we'll get our haste as well. Oh my gosh, this was save the best for last is gonna be nuts, no? <laughs> that little screech. Oh yeah, so... Okay, so then how do I do a tunnel? Okay, I, I knew I could destroy that. Didn't really know. So how do I tunnel? Not the survivor, obviously. Whoa! Yo, what? Yo, what? I can do that? I can... He was no... Dude, what? And we got value. I don't know what this station thing is. I want to be able to do my teleport through a tunnel. I don't know how. What's up, dude? Yeah, so... They were... Oh. I can't let him take this window. Oh, that's not what I meant to do. Okay. I wonder how long this lasts. Huh? Oh, he left. Okay. <laughs> that's awkward. Yee. Oh, what? Okay. Hey, get out of here, dude. How do I use the tunnels exactly? I don't know how to... I don't know what I'm doing wrong there. I don't know exactly how to get that activated. Okay, I don't want to be that guy, but that did seem rather fast. Dude, this is crazy. Can I hit him for here? Dude, what? And then picking them up out of, out of the tele-attack. I wonder how long the tele-attack lasts. Dude, there's... Oh my god. I don't know what this is... But let's go. We're in our thing now. Yo, what? I was barely even near you. Okay, I'll break it and see what happens. Is that going to explode? It hinders me. Whoa. What's up, girl? I probably should have looked at the survivor perks first. Dude, you can hit from so far away. This is absurd. Ah, shit. So, okay, so I'm going to have to look back and see what the control station things are. And I should probably look at the Ellen Rip. Ah! The squeal it does. This is awesome, dude. This is awesome. Like, I obviously didn't use him right, but this running, this tail attack, like, dude. Well, if you can hit somebody with it, can you can you like collateral? That would be cool. I'm gonna relook at the uh, the power. Go over the survivors' perks on my own. Then we're gonna hop into another game. But that's awesome. Seriously, super freaking cool. DVD wholesome encounter who would have thought <laughs> all right we get his new map for the first time first time seeing it okay I mean that's pretty sweet also I kind of figured out how to use these stations I think I have to go up to it to be able to use it so I guess we'll see oh yeah I'm just an idiot so where does it whoa what's happening oh I'm in the tunnels okay I'm dumb okay so I need to go here Oh. Oh. Oh, oh. Okay. Probably need to hit that. Okay. We're in here. We in, we changed out. We changed out crew manifest. Or sorry, crew manifest. What is singularity gameplay? Lol. We changed out crew headset for improvised cattle prod. Uh, that's the iridescent. So each time a gen is completed for 15 seconds, a survivor within 10 meters. Where should I? Okay, we're going to go back to the tunnel. I'm going to keep using this. I didn't get to use it at all last game. Uh, is... Okay, dude, you're, you're absolutely humming. Uh, uh, let's go here, I guess. This is insane. Uh, they're revealed for... Dang. They're revealed for 15 seconds within 10 meters. This map is awesome. It ha Okay, this is like, I feel like where they need to go. I don't know how early these spawn, but I feel like this is where they need to go whenever they make maps. So uh, I've obviously, I don't know how well it is balanced and things like that. I thought I got her. Uh, but like, it's open, but is filled. And I think like, 
I don't know. How do you explain it? It just feels nice. We haven't gotten anybody down yet. We'll be able to get a hit here, though, finally. We have our haste, so we might just hold off on this. Yeah, let's go ahead and hit this. We have our uh, running mode tail attack now. Okay, so I don't even have to click it. Okay. This is awkward. Oh, okay. I don't know why I saw everybody's. Oh, because the gen got completed. Oh, well, shout out to the iridescent. That's crazy. Okay, this is insane. Okay, so, and then when you pick them up, it goes away. I don't really know what's happening, dude, you know? Unfortunately, I don't get to see the Mori. I am gonna do the Mori. It's just going to be, he's gonna vault. Well, someone did. I am gonna probably have to do it against bots, which is kind of whatever. Let's go see who goes for uh, the save. Oh, it was a Leon. Dude, this attack is nuts. This attack is nuts. Imagine. <laughs> Imagine, dude. Okay, we obviously, we saw someone close. I lied? No. We s okay, whatever. We'll pick up. Yeah, this is... No way. There's nothing else around here. Okay. And I kind of like this, um, what is it? Rapid brutality? So you don't have to, uh... You know, you can get rid of bloodlust, which so many survivors seem to hate even though it's very helpful getting the ability hello i'm so lost on this map getting the ability to have a haste after you get a, a basic attack hit is honestly crazy it's honestly insane and the map looks awesome it, it seems like what they were going for with uh toba landing I don't think I'm getting that uh, wrong. You know, have a lot in it, make it dense. But first glance, obviously, because I don't know. At first glance, this map seems open enough to do what they intended to do with uh, Toba as well. We'll wait for our thing. Go bang. Hey, hey! Oh, I got awkward. Hopefully, these aren't too oppressive. I haven't played Survivor yet, so I don't know exactly how they spawn in and stuff. But, oh, the Fang left. That's fine. We're just getting figuring it out really okay let's open this this is ultimate weapon okay so this so survivors entering terror radius scream location and blind for 30 seconds locations revealed i feel like that hey hey back off homie is that taking away my ability to oh and i can't go back up that way this is awesome. Does it take away my... Yeah, it does. I have a general idea where they are. I feel like getting lost down here is going to be really easy. Oh, but you can hear. Okay. And then I'll have my haste. What up, son? Oh, it's the bot. Bugger. Dude, I'm so excited to try this uh, Rapid Brutality with Save the Best for Last. So we're just waiting for her to leave. I was expecting it earlier. It was kind of a dumb play. I like these. I like how they started implementing these for these newer maps, especially in like Toba. I don't think they have it in um, Decimated. Wait. Yeah, because after Decimated, they just redid Shelter Woods. Um, we're like, you, I, which I don't know if they proc, um, I don't know if they proc, where am I? Oh yeah, I gotta lean back a little bit, there we go. I don't know if they proc balance landing, but I feel like they should. This, this right here is so sweet, dude. I, w I wonder how long I can stay down here before it like kicks me out. Oh, so that's right above me? Oh, and since, okay, we'll just come up here. Dude, this is awesome. What's up, son? Okay, you're really killing my vibe here, bro. Really killing my vibe here. <laughs> Where'd you go? <laughs> what is this map called? Airlock Doors? Nestramo Wreckage. Also, she really threw that, and I think she thought it was gonna get me. I mean, this map feels big. Uh, let's just walk it. You know, I just wanna see... I mean, it, I mean, uh, looking at it, it looks awesome. I think that's just, in general, fair to say. It, it gives off... Like, look at that, dude. 
Oh, we're in tail attack mode. I spawned in this like tank thing. I've never seen. Actually, that's not that's not true. I was gonna say I've never seen alien. I've seen the first alien, the first one. Child, is that considered a horror movie? I don't know. I never found alien scary. At least I don't remember me thinking it was scary. I think what I'm gonna start doing, I know I'm just rambling here. Also, it doesn't feel that big. This map honestly gives a vibe like Toba Landing. And if we're being honest, if I had to guess the way they've made Toba Landing is gonna be kind of like their structure for maps here on out and probably just try to fine tune it. Cause I mean, like I said, I haven't played this map a bunch, but but it feels a lot like Toba. Let's go check out a exit gate. I wanna see what this looks like. But yeah, dude, this map so far, I mean, it looks fantastic. I think so anyway. I don't know how other people feel, but what was I saying? Oh, uh, I what I want to start doing is I like how you can mark it and it like tells you how to get there. It's pretty sweet and you have multiple ways. Um, but like when new licenses come out, because I don't watch scary movies, like maybe watching the movies that the license killer came out for the first time. Oh, I don't have to use my L and R. I can just woo. Did I just say L and R? What the hell? And I like this. I like this a lot. So if you're over there, they're... Oh, can they not tuck in? I wonder how far they can tuck in when they're on the gate, if you can see them or not. That would be a big deal. I'm actually interested in that, too. So you're not able to exit gate camp. I don't know the RNG of the map, but that would be nice. What about, like, right here? I mean, that's pretty close, too. That's... that's hell of a distance bro all right that second game was a lot better